you want to just introduce yourself first? And so anyone who's watching knows who you are and what your show is. We are uh, Roisin and Kiara, yes. and our show's called Wild, Wild at Heart. Heart. Okay, sweet. So firstly, what just happened? What did I see? What kind of reception have you had so far for that show? It's been cool. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Positive. Positive rece- reception. I think so. We did have somebody who said, like, I really enjoyed that, but I'm concerned for your mental, mental health. health. Um, Lovely. Thanks so much for think, the concern. Yeah. <laughs> in general, in general, I think because um, it's because uh, it's kind of interactive. Yeah. Think, everyone gets on board. There's enough time to get on board. Yeah. It's not like too kind of. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. It's you know they get into it. Yeah. So positive. Okay. Based at all from the film, similar title. It is. It's a favourite film. Yeah. Um, but I think that was just Quite so probably an unconscious yeah. decision. Yeah. And the poster, we like the poster as well. Yeah. Although, yeah. Random. So I'm going to start. Nicolas Cage. Oh, yeah. wow. She's big, yeah. Nice. I've seen that <laughs> in on the performance. I can really see that yeah. channeling that. Yeah. Well, good to know. <laughs> so I'm going to start by giving you these two pieces of paper. Okay. And on it is a word. And I want you to try at some point in this to get your word into your answers. But I want you guys to guess when the other one said their word. Does that make sense? Yes. So have a look. I don't kind of mix them up. Don't let each other see. This is cool. And then if you think the other person said their word, call it. Okay, cool. (laughs) So I guess could you describe your show without giving too much away to people who are thinking of coming to see it? It's like uh, it's like coming into a sort of surreal party. Um, uh, it's a celebration. Um, it's a feast. It's a it's a kind of a, a combination of um, character sketch comedy on a very s- surreal level, yeah. uh, mixed with a dance routine, yeah. mixed with the um, clown improvisations mm. with the audience. I'd say. Yeah. Is there a lot of improvisation in that? Because I was watching and I just <coughs> felt like it was, yeah, you were just bouncing mm. off the audience. Yes. How much is it scripted? How much is it? Mm. So it's, I mean, it's kind of interesting that it felt like the more we started doing like the fringe or like sort of intimate gigs like this, we felt like we just wanted to improvise more and more. Yeah. Because I don't know, there's just something about it. It always makes it more, it keeps it fresh and um, you almost have to put yourself in that sort of level of, in the danger zone yeah. right, to, for work. It to work. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just amazing. How long does it take to come up <clears throat> with that kind of routine? Because it, mm. it's just, there's so much to it. It must take yeah. ages. Um, it's, it's interesting because I feel like, so because we, we're friends firstly, and then it's really funny that sometimes we get really serious and we're like, okay, we're going to book a rehearsal room and we're going to make a schedule, we'll do some stretches and then we'll get into creation. And every time we do that, we just can't do anything. Nothing yeah. happens. Um, so it usually just comes out of, I guess, our Hanging out. friendship. And, yeah. Yeah. and uh, we, we, we went to the same theatre school, so some, yeah. some, some seeds began there. <laughs> and, um, and, then, and then some bits, um, we, we, we came up last year and we uh, did like um, half an hour and we were just trying out new things here so yeah. a lot yeah, yeah. a lot of it came from from that and then and then just like just kind of like i don't know we'll before be before coming up we were like just, just having bleh. having a meal like oh let's do style, a thing. just having a, a pint and some brisket <laughs> that's the word nice <laughs> <laughs> sorry what were you having with your pint a brisket well i don't even know what it is some brisket, brisket. no that's that's brilliant you can get a brisket. brisket it's like a like a Shredded fried meat mm. beef brisket. We quite, would have that. that was quite delightful. Really, that was really. really it, was the, it was the brisket. Yeah. It was a real, yeah, plunger of a joke. <laughs> if you could sum this up, like your show up, in three words for someone, what would they expect <clears throat> if they were coming? Mm. Okay. Silly. Silly. Mm. Oh, something like. You could do body warm. movements instead warm. if you'd like. Warm. warm. Yeah. Um, party. Party. <laughs> A silly warm party. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the fringe. If you could just tell us where we can catch you, when we can catch you. Henry Cellar Bar. Every day. At 10 past four. Yeah. On Morrison Street. In the cellar.
Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much. What was my word? What was your, yeah. Did you do it? In Song. A... No. Mm-mm. Oh, come it good, on. It's a it? really good one. It was really good. I actually I have to say, I, I, I thought you hadn't done it yet. Plunger. 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 I said it right after you did yours and I went, it was a plunger. plunger of a joke. You know what? I thought that was really out of character that you said that. And I was like, because you're not usually mean to me like that. <laughs> but I just, I, I took that bit of sadness and I'll let it go down. It's in there. Oh. I didn't mean it. Okay.